Use table division only with six clicks without any computer for free so you can turn your drawings to images like this. You don't need any coding experience, just in two minutes you can start generating images. You can use any custom models or extensions you want including the control map. Let's start. First, click on the Google Collab link in the video description. Google Collab is a cloud-based platform that lets you run your code on the cloud using Google's standard GPUs for free. But even even with the free version, you get a GPU with 15 GB RAM, so it's pretty nice. All you need is a free Google account. First, to make sure we are using GPU, go to runtime and then click on change runtime type. Make sure the GPU is selected and with the free version of Google Collab, you can only use the standard GPUs. But if you have a premium subscription, you can use other GPUs too. And then go ahead and click on save. And as you can see on the right top part, we are connected to a server right now. And if you click Click on that part, you can see the available resources that we can use. In my experience, I was able to use it for a long time without any problems. But in the free version, you can get disconnected if the server is busy. To avoid this issue, you can try to use Google Collab Pro subscription. You can learn more about it in this part. On the Google Collab, there are six sections. If you click on the show code, you can see the written code that will be executed when you press the run button. So go ahead and run the first section. It will ask permission to access your Google Drive because it will save the stable diffusion file there. Choose your Google account and click on Allow. It will take a couple of minutes to complete it. Once you see the green check mark, you can run the second section to install automatic 11.11 UI. Then we can choose which model we want to download in this part. I will add and use the realistic vision version 2 model, but for now I choose 1.5 as a base model to download. If you have a model downloaded to your drive, you can add a path here. I already have it on my computer, so I will add it later. Once it's done, you can check it from the folders here. As you can see, it automatically created all the necessary folders inside Google Drive, and the model 1.5 is here under the models folder. In the next section, you can install the ControlNet models. With a free Google account, you will receive 15 GB of storage. It is not enough to download all the ControlNet models, but you can use around half of them without any problems. In this example, I want to create renders from my drawings, so that's why I will download only the Scribble model. Now you can run the last section and actually run the stable diffusion. If you want, you can also add a username and a password to your interface, but I won't do it now. Once you have this URL, just open it and stable diffusion is ready to use. Before I generate anything, I will add the realistic vision model to the models folder so I can access it in stable diffusion. Once it is uploaded, I will restart the UI and it will generate a new URL for us. Open it and you can see our model is ready to use here. Also, you can check the available models for ControlNet under the ControlNet tab. Since we downloaded only the Scribble mod, this is the only one we have right now. First, I will test it with text to image version without ControlNet. Let's use this prompt from the model's example image. I will just adjust the image size and the sampling steps, and then hit generate. Once you hit generate, you can see the process in the Google Color file. And here is the result. Now let's test it with ControlNet enable. I will use one of the Hadith's drawing and try to create a realistic render using this initial drawing. And here is one of the results. All of the images you can generate are saved to the same Google Drive folder. You can find them here under the Outputs folder. And here are some of the results from the same drawing. I mainly use the same text input 
just change the time of the day to create different images with different feelings. So that was it for this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you want to learn more about sketch to render process, you can watch this video. See you in the next one.